So the clinical study EXTEND, which I discussed in the recent AAD um, uh, online meeting, is an open-label extension study with the drug trelokinumab for patients uh, with moderate to severe atopic dermatitis. Trelokinumab is an anti-IL-13 blocker. Um, it blocks the cytokine. Um, this is in contrast to a drug that many of you know, dupilumab, which binds the IL-4 receptor alpha and it blocks, blocks signaling of IL-4 and IL-13. So this is a selective IL-13 blocker drug. The drug had previously been shown in, in phase three trials to be safe and effective over the course of one year. And those studies were published. Um, in EXTEND, the trial that, that I discussed, the latest results, um, it is patients coming from parent trials of trelokinumab, um, the one-year trials and some other um, phase three trials that the company did with the drug in atopic dermatitis, and then placing every patient onto trelo and over time, just looking how well they do with maintenance therapy um, over the course of years. This is a five-year planned study. Um, in terms of both efficacy and safety. So it's really about long-term use of this new biologic that's uh, being investigated for atopic dermatitis, what, what patients do over time. What I presented was the, um, the one-year data of people who have been in this extension for at least one year. Now, the majority of the patients, however, included um, patients that were in one-year parent trials. And so we have a subset of patients now in the open label extension that have been on drug for two years. And we call that the two year cohort. So I presented data um, both in patients in the open label extension for one year and a subset of those who have been on drug for up to two years of, of using trelokinumab. And essentially um, most of the patients coming into the open label extension um, have been doing well, because if you think about it, if they weren't doing well for some reason um, in the parent trial, either due to poor efficacy or to some safety issue, they wouldn't have been, gone on to the open label extension. So really you can kind of think of this study um, extend as uh, patients doing well on trail kinumab, what happens over time do they continue to do well? Do they lose response, which we sometimes see with biologic therapy, or do um, safety issues emerge um, with time um, that we may not have seen in the earlier trials? And very simply, the bottom line is, is good. Um, we, we saw nice results for people continuing on this drug. We saw them continue to have very low um, easy scores, which is a measurement of the um, eczema severity. Um, and we saw them have um, uh, relatively few adverse events and nothing new developing with continued use of this drug. So great durability of efficacy and great safety in, the, um, in this particular trial um, with these interim results.